Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is square root of 10 and a square root of 10 and a square root of 10 is equal to 100 power of x. To find the value of x from this equation. Now in the first step to remove this first square root will square in both sides. So from this side which is square root of 10 and a square root of 10 and a square root of 10 we square in this side is equal to this side which is 100 power of x also in this side we square it then this square root will cancel this square so we'll be left with this which is 10 square root of 10 and a square root of 10 then is equal to this which is 100 power of x times 2 is power of 2x then in the next step, from to remove this second square root, we'll square again in both sides. So into here we square and into here we square. Then it will be 10 square then times this square which is square root of 10 and a square root of 10 then bracket square is equal to this which is 100 power of 2x times 2 is power of 4x then it will be this which is 10 square times into here this square root will cancel this square so it will be times this 10 square root of 10 then is equal to 100 power of 4x then from this 10 is same as 10 power of 1 so 10 power of 2 times 10 power of 1 it is 10 power of 2 plus 1 is power of 3 then times this square root of 10 is equal to this 100 power of 4x then in the next step to remove this square root again we'll square in both sides so it will be 10 power of 3 this power of 2 will take inside the bracket so it will be 10 power of 3 times power of 2 is power of 6 then times this which is square root of 10 then bracket power of 2 is equal to 100 power of 4x times 2 is power of 8x then from here this square root will cancel this square so it will be 10 power of 6 times this 10 then is equal to into here 12 base of 10 100 is same as 10 power of 2 then bracket this power of 8 x then this 10 is same as 10 power of 1 so it will be 10 power of 6 plus 1 is power of 7 is equal to 10 power of 2 times power of 8 x is power of 16 x now from here we have same base of 10 so we'll compare the powers so it will be this power of 16x is equal to 7. Then we divide by 16 in both sides. So this and this will cancel. Then it will be x is equal to this which is 7 over 16. So this is the final answer for the value of x in this our problem which is 7 over 16. Now to check if this answer is correct, right, we write here to check for the value of x which is 7 over 16. Let's write our problem which is this square root of 10 and a square root of 10 and a square root of 10 is it equal is equal to 100 per 100 power of x we substitute the value of x which is this 7 over 16 so here to be 100 power of 7 over 16 then in the next step it will be square root of 10 and a square root of 10 this square root of 10 here is same as times 10 power of a half then is it equal to this 100 power of 7 over 16 
then it will be square root of 10 and a square root of 10 this 10, 10 is same as 10 power of 1 so 10 power of 1 times 10 power of a half is same as 10 1 plus a half is 3 over 2 which is 1 1 1 and a half then is it equal to this 100 power of 7 over 16 then it will be square root of 10 then times this which is 10 power of 3 over 2 this this square root is same as power of a half so into here we place bracket to be power of a half outside the bracket which is this square root then is it equal to 100 power of 7 over 16 then into here it will be square root of 10 then times 10 power of 3 3 times 1 is 3 2 times 2 is 4 so it will be over 4 is it equal to 100 power of 7 over 16 then in the next step this 10 is same as 10 power of 1 so it will be square root of same base of 10 1 plus 7 over 4 it is 1 I mean 1 plus 3 over 4 it is 1 and 3 over 4 now into improper fraction it will be 4 times 1 is 4 4 plus 3 it is 7 over 4 then is it equal to 100 power of 7 over 16 then this is same as power of a half so it will be 10 power of 7 over 4 then bracket square root is same as power of a half then is it equal to this 100 because here we have base of 10 100 is same as 10 power of 2 then bracket this power of 7 over 16 then into here it will be 10 power of 7 times 1 is 7 over 4 times 2 is 8 is it equal to 10 power of this to simplify this will cancel by 1 and this by 8 so it will be 7 over 8 now into the left side it is 10 power of 7 over 8 and right side is 10 power of 7 over 8 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is 7 over 16 Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.